very welcome to you so my first question to you ashwarya it's been a roller coaster journey for you if we talk about in motorcycling career uh how was the experience till now because uh, you have uh, suffered a, a great injuries also in the past time so why, uh, what was the uh, how's the experience till now um well it has been a roller coaster journey it was definitely a um, main dominated spot to be able to make a mark uh, or to pursue a dream that is in such a field wasn't easy uh, it definitely took a lot of hard work determination focus and a lot of planning to be here as yeah. well as um, i think it's been a great journey you're the only one uh, from india to uh, win the fim bajaj world championship so uh, first of all congratulations with uh, from us to you uh, it's been a great journey it's been incredible uh, incredible uh, achievement uh, you achieved uh, what's your experience about world championship well uh, i'm definitely grateful to be india's only and first world champion in two wheeler motorsports at this point yeah. and i i think it took a lot of hard work uh, to be able to get it to go ahead, to go ahead and participate in such races already is not easy and finishing them itself uh, is a huge achievement and especially for us to uh, we started planning this race again my poor jody when i had the accident in 2018 where i was hospitalized for one in spain i think that's when we started planning for the race and we put together a plan and then we started uh, training and uh, going and participating at each race and doing everything right and to be able to participate in finish every race and i think i think that's that's pretty much how i mean that's the hard work that it took the determination to be able to get there and win the championship and you always want to become a motorcyclist or racer or is there any other plans uh, uh, prior to that um well i wanted to be a fighter plane pilot when i was in when i was in college but i think our country still did not allow it at that point uh, also i did fail my 12th that's pretty much how i got into racing motorcycles okay. Okay. um so yeah i mean i think i couldn't like plane from flying motorcycles now and and in starting it's very difficult for especially for the younger like us that to convince our parents uh, that we want to do this and we want to proceed uh, this in as a career uh, how was the experience with you uh, i mean uh, if we talk about your parents about this field well um definitely in the beginning it wasn't easy to convince uh, my grandparents especially my mother was quite supportive because she never really got to explore her life uh, as much when she was my age so she didn't stop me to explore what i wanted to do i think that's the biggest support that i got from my uh, family or mother is that you know she supported me in everything that i could morally she didn't really stop me from going sure they couldn't support me financially good motor sports is an expensive sport but i think especially as indian kids the best support we can get is that our parents don't stop us from what we want to go and be what motivates you ashwarya we want to know about that especially uh, uh, this motorcycling uh, racing if you talk about well motorcycle racing has given me purpose in life and i think what motivates me is to be a better version of myself every single day every single season every single year and i think uh, that's what i keep looking forward to by training as well as um, you know winning races and seeing where i stand year on year tell us uh, tell us about your injuries because it's very difficult to overcome them and uh, as we know about that uh, for past uh, for couple of 3 or 6 months you you were not with your bike so how difficult uh, it was for you um well i've had about three accidents in my motorsports career one was breaking the collarbone um that was not so bad but i think that definitely made me realize what it took to break a bone get a surgery go back racing in 10 days and i won the championship that year um then i think the biggest accident that i've had is rupturing my pancreas in 2018 and uh sure at the time i didn't know that it was a life threatening accident but thinking of it today um definitely you know having the right ecosystem around me be it my trainers mentors coaches the team that i race for all of this put together was so crucial in my life to be able to come back also being an athlete has taught me that you know every time you fall down it's how quick can you get up and be back at what you're doing and i think that accident was the longest that i couldn't ride that was about 3 months 
Um, yes, it was definitely a lot of tests on my patience, but I think this is where the mental conditioning, uh, all of these play a major role. And I think uh, that was the second accident. And the third one was I broke my both my wrists last year. That definitely um, was also quite um difficult but i think each one of these accidents have just made me a better person a stronger person that have made me learn a lot through these experiences and if we talk about physical fitness is also very important in this sport so uh, tell us our viewers that uh, how you train how's your day uh, full of i mean what diet you take for this so um being a motorcycle racer does not just mean that i ride a lot it also includes a lot of physical fitness mental conditioning nutrition uh, and endurance training this is how i break my training um in a day i uh, on on alternate days i i go uh, do endurance training or physical fitness um and then i have mental conditioning 3 days a week then i ride 3 days a week 3 to 4 days a week and yeah nutrition is an ongoing process i work with a team um i've been using a, a cyber quality ultra human which is helping me monitor the food that i'm eating and you know my uh, spikes as to what food's working for me what food's not working for me what should i eat before training during are uh, my energy levels low so i can look at all of these things on an app Uh, on the ultra human app and then you know fuel adequately to be able to uh, perform 100% and how was the experience with tvs also because you were stated with tvs for a very long time how was the experience till now well i think it is very important to have a sponsor to have a career in motorsports because it's an expensive sport and i think uh, i started racing in the year uh, in, in the end of 2015 and by the end of 2016 uh, i had won about two championships and my association with tvs started in 2017 and i think it's been a great journey and it has just been a lot of learning we have won about uh, five national championships together uh, national rally championships as well as two world championships so i think uh, it's been a great journey with them so as we talk about uh, your experience your journey with tvs also uh, we want to know more about the journey you did in past especially from gujarat uh, you ride the bike for almost 8000 kilometers how was the experience because it's very uh, difficult for as a as i'm going to see uh, this it's very tough and it's very difficult tell us about the experience you had well i think my love for motorcycles uh, started at the age of 18 and i think that's when i did this road trip uh, from ranav kachu cherapunji for 24 days on a motorcycle with my best friend and i think it was one hell of an experience because uh, we got to ride the most beautiful places uh, in india um, and it was a, it was technically a tv show that we were on um, it was called mtv chase monsoon yeah. but i think it was uh, it definitely showed me how much more i would like to do with a motorcycle and yeah i i think it was a uh, unforgettable experience uh if we talk about in the current times do you see uh, women are more towards this biking if we talk about motorcycling uh, when you started your career probably uh, there only men are there but now uh, as the day as passes how's the experience and uh, what do you see if we talk about the women in the motorcycling till uh well definitely when i started racing yes the number of people riding um, more less as well as racing i mean i was the only girl on the track but i think year on year that has been changing and evolving and now i not only see just uh, one or two women but there is a group full of women at the tvs one may uh, champion road racing championship there's at least like 15 16 women and you see uh, more and more participation at the rally that i do think uh, about 5 to 8 women and with to uh, just touring especially there are more than 100 of women just in bangalore and more than thousands of women around india so yes it's definitely evolving um and i think it's just going to get better and better from here and ashwarya is there anyone you look up to what's your inspiration uh, in current times uh my inspiration at this point is laya san she is a racer from spain and she used to finish top 15 in one of my dream races that's called dakar um and you know yeah. i mean uh, there are at least uh, 100 men 
after her show that means she really fin- finishing the race itself is difficult but she finished her stop 15 so she's somebody that i'm looking up to and she's someone i want to be like and what are your future plans from now on woods um i'm looking forward like uh, i'm looking forward to training more internationally as well as um hoping to do more uh, international races uh in the near future this weekend i have my fourth round of the national championship coming up as well as uh, i have two more rounds of it left this year so a lot of national and a few international races before i'm looking at and is there any dream you have for upcoming years next four to five years you want to be there yes definitely i want to uh, be racing at the da- uh, at the race dakar because yeah. that's like the olympic of motor sports and that's where i want to be participating and racing in the next few years and for the younger ones who want to join and as a motorcyclist what i what the message you want to give them uh, especially boys and girls uh, is there any message you want to give them pursuing a, pursuing a career in motor sports uh, isn't easy yes it looks all glamorous and fun and all of it but it requires equal amount of dedication hard work and focus as any other sport and i think if you really put your mind and uh, all your time to it and you invest in yourself I think you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. Uh it's been really nice talking to you Ashwarya. Uh, we wish you all the best uh for the upcoming events and uh, tournaments and it's really nice uh, you've been here for us. Uh thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you Sachin it's been great having a conversation with you. Thank you. Thank you.